everyone welcome back to my channel the lot show african fashion i hope you guys are doing great as usual please if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video i just want to appreciate every one of you you know for your like comments and share some of my videos and say may god richly bless you all in jesus name please if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a, a new video you can also follow me on my facebook page or on my instagram page african fashion and style that's where you get different designs your own one best styles are there oh. so let's get straight to business on how to cut the bubble gun with a shoulder key hole the first thing you do is to take the the length measurement of your bubble gun and the shoulder circumference depends on how big you want your bubble gun to look like so on this the first thing i will do is to take the bust pointer measurement which is a chain so this is where i will start to stitch then the waistline and then the hip line these are just the you know, key lines that you will need so you just mark out the lines first so what you do next is to take the boss measurement so the boss measurement is 50 you divide by 4 you have 12.5 so you can add extra so that's it the waist is a 40 you add extra just like so and the hip is a 50 so you add extra too depends on what you want and what you do is just to do connect together like a so just connect the lines together like so then gradually you take it down to the base so what i will be doing next is to work on the neck eh, line and the shoulder key hole so on the neckline i will be using 3.5 i hope you guys are seeing it 3.5 and then one inch for the depth back and the front so you mark out first like so so for you to get the shoulder key hole depends on how white your clients you know, want the key hole to look like remember you will stone the key hole so i will advise you from the neckline you take five and from that five you can use six you can use seven you can also use five depends on how white your client needs it so on this i will be using six so you use six to take the key hole and then on the depth you use two inches which is now two by six so you give it a cover shape you just mount it a little like a canoe neck that's it So what you do is you no, know, you cut out the neckline first. So on the shoulder, you mark the midpoint, which is very important to avoid mistake, and then cut out the keyhole. Just trim it out like so. So that's it on the keyhole. So in order to get the front panel neckline, this is what you do. You pick your fabric, open, and then centralize. Take shoulder to shoulder and then you can pin first. That's it. So on this, I will be using 4 to take the depth. So what you do next is to take it down with 2 inch again in order to get the cover shape. So that's the 2 inch. So you just give it a curve shape. And 
and then cut out. So that's it on the neck here. Front air, honey. So what you do next is to open, pinch together, and mark out the line you are going to stitch. So this is the neckline now. This is the bust line. This is the waistline, and this is the hip line. So what you do next is how to get the other side line. So what you do is just to pick your fabric like so. Just place your finger on it and then mark the other part like so. This is the bust line. Huh? This is the waist line. You mark like so both sides and then do the same on the hip here line and then you open remember you are going to top stitch and then connect the lines together to the base do the same on the other side you connect the lines together To the base so on the base you can decide to give it a curve shape like the one you are seeing on the screen just hold your fabric like so use your tape that's is how you get the curve just take six inches and then give it a curve shape you can use seven you can use eight Depends on them what you want. and then cut out. So on the neckline and on the shoulder keyhole, what you do is very simple. You use your bias stripe to turn it out. That's what you use. Then after turning, you cannot use your stones. Or any design of your choice, you no, know, to design the neck. Use your hook like so. The hand part of it, you use your hook to hook this place together. So you do the same on the key hole on the shoulder. So that's it on the neckline and then the shoulder keyhole. So the next thing you do is to use your gum. You can use the, you know, the normal one or use the electric candle gum you know, to fix the stones. And then top stitch to the base on both sides. And you are done with eh, your bubble gum with a shoulder keyhole. So that's all for today on how to cut your bubble gown with shoulder keyhole. Please, if you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. I will see you on my next tutorial. Please stay safe. Bye-bye.